So we are going to have a class called person, and then there are some attribute here: a name, birthday, last name, and then there are some function there. And then we have a MIT person, which inherited from person. But MIT person has a, a net ID number, which is a class variable. But it also had an instance variable called uh, self dot id. It has some other uh, method. And then we have a student which inherited from MIT person. Then we have a grad and transfer student inherited from student. We have UG undergrad student inherited from the student. UG has the instance variable of year, which is class year. And then we also have professor. Professor inherited from the MIT person. Now professor had the instance variable. Uh, professor had the department. Some uh, other function like a speed and lecture. And we also had a grid book. A grid book is a uh, a subclass of the object, which is means it's quite uh, 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 separate from the rest of the class. But what the grade book does is it has instance variables like a list of student and uh, grades and whether it's a solid or not. So the grade book basically is the container is going to contain instances of student. Okay, so this is an aggregation relationship. And outside of the grade book, we also have a, a separate function grade report. Grid report take the input of 600. 600 basically is the instance of the grids class. Okay, I hope this is helpful.